Paul's in. G'day and welcome back. I'm Big G and you're at the G spot. Now, my last two mailbag videos have been a disaster because the new camera I bought specifically for doing those videos, this one here from Amazon, has lost the footage on both occasions. So I've bought a new webcam, which I'm using at the moment, and I'll just keep doing some testing until I'm satisfied. At least this webcam doesn't have the sort of fisheye effect that the last one had. So we'll put this out of the way. So this is going to be a bit all over the place because um, I'm sort of trying to salvage what I missed in the last mailbags. This arrived in the last bag. I don't recall where this is from, but I'll put that up in a minute for you to see. Uh, this is a an FG-100 DDS function generator, which is all a fancy way of saying this is a waveform generator, which I haven't tested yet, but I will do very soon, in the next oh, week or two. Um, this will be part of the series I'm starting entitled My Tools, showing and demonstrating all the different tools I use when I'm actually getting off my ass and doing electronics. Put that aside. Okay. In the last mailbag, these arrived. This is a um, let's see if I can tilt this a bit to eliminate the glare somewhat. But this is a 15 centimeter stainless steel ruler metric on this side, which is of course what most of the world uses. And I think it's probably if I know I could work it ahead of oh I see. It's got a tricky sticky back on it. Okay. And I suspect this will be the old fashioned imperial measurements on the back, and yes it is. Mind you, I think America and possibly a one Middle Eastern country are the only country still using Imperial, and the Americans have just announced that um, they are officially converting to metric. Okay, well, this is a PCB ruler. Again, it's a 150mm uh, ruler, metric down here, imperial up the top. But this, this basically has the common sizing for oh, mostly SMD components, wire gauges down here. Um, I really must find my little pointer um, on the back, you know, common SMD size components. I'll put that over here. Oh, I actually got two different types of steel rulers in that package. I like to have six inch ones handy around the place. This also is from the last ba mail bag. Now this is um, classified as emergency radio. It has a solar panel which 
supposedly will power it up. This size solar panel, I don't see it giving much power, but I suppose if it's in the sun long enough, it will charge it. If it's a real solar panel, I haven't checked that yet. It also has a crank on the side, which I have tested. So you can charge up the internal battery. And I'll just show you the flashlight to prove that that works. And it's also an AM, FM and weather band radio. I don't think we even have weather band in Australia, so that's almost irrelevant. Now this was through eBay and I don't know what the issue is yet but I got a very vague message from eBay saying not to use this product. It may have a um, safety concern or a recall notice but typical eBay didn't bother telling you what the issue was. So I have contacted the um, the seller to find out what's going on. Anyway, that comes with a little S, um, sorry, USB charging cable and uh, some basic instructions. Now I've had one of these before. In fact, I probably still have it, but when we were hit by storms recently, I could not find it and I decided I'd best get another one. So I did. The other thing that came in the last mailbag is these double banana plugs. So these allow you to plug your banana plug in and still hitchhike another lead from here. I haven't, I haven't opened these up yet to see how they, oh I see, it's a couple of tabs there and can we pull that open? Let's have a look. Probably can if my hands weren't so damaged. Anyway, that's what they are. It just allows me to run a couple of things, a couple of extra things off my bench top power supply at any given time. Um, What else arrived? I'm not sure which of these No, I won't bother with them Okay So let's get to today's mail These arrived in a recent mail bag these are very handy miniature clamps. I use them, well, in the aquarium hobby, I use them mainly for holding hoses in place while I'm draining or acclimatizing fish or whatever, but they're also really good for um, holding electronic stuff sometime in the quad, sometimes. And they're quite strong, as I'll ooh, demonstrate there. Um, so, 
I will go into some of these other things and I will edit the toys out except the chicken I'll leave that there this is a little kit I'm about to build for my granddaughter it's just a little beetle that has a couple of let's open her up shall we it has a couple of little um actually where are those clamps i just had Ooh. let's see if we can use one of these clamps to hold this better Not really, but anyway. So this is a little beetle. It has little red LED eyes. As you can see there they're only roughly placed but has a little coin cell that goes on the back a few resistors a transistor and a um, light dependent resistor which i assume means it will only work at night and from the description i saw ah no i realize what it is it must light up when you put your finger over the light dependent resistor originally i thought it must have been a some sort of capacitance switch but it doesn't have the parts for that so that will be my first kit build I ran a poll recently in the community tab of my YouTube page um, asking what people would like to see and giving some options. Um, people indicated they'd like to see me do some kit builds and I've got a whole tub of kits to be built um, because I'd bought a whole heap when I cut these three fingers off on the table saw and I'm not even sure if I've got the agility yet to be able to to um, do them but we'll give it a try you can see all the scarring along here and here and here I did cut this one but I didn't cut it off and here nearly took a knuckle off yeah, still to this day, don't know how I did that. All right, so that's my little beetle kit. What else do we have here? I could be wrong. I think... think this is a little microphone kit what have we got here aside for a minute this one is a little uh, audio spectrum analyzer but using a digital to analog converter do you know what I've just gone blank I have a project for this and I can't think of what it is 
Well, but we will get to it. So anyway, as I was saying, people selected, and you can still go on my community tab and add your vote. The people said that they were interested in seeing kit builds. They were interested in seeing basically a mini tour of my workspace, my little office, including all the tools I use. And also a lot of people, well, a few people, a lot of people haven't replied yet, but indicated they'd like to come along for the ride as I teach myself electronics, uh, stuff ups and all. Okay, what else have we got here? Oh, this came in the, a recent mailbag. One end is um, USB-A, the other are crocodile clips. So I can use this in either direction. I can clip that onto my power supply and power USB, or I can clip this onto USB and clip this onto my project for five volt power. Now, what have we got here? Now these, I know I've got, yep I do, I've got two of these. I can't remember, I think these are buck boost converters, but I'll show you the listing for that in a second. And they are for my NM. Oh, animatronics projects, which are coming up. In which I will be lighting up the skulls and masks and automating some of them. This here is a mini passive infrared module so it will detect so it will detect you know people walking past it um, I actually got two of these I've already put one away what have we got hmm. I remember what this one is. I won't open it. I'll find the listing. It has ground, negative voltage out, positive voltage in, and ground again. I think that might be a. Um, no, I don't know. I won't guess. Just make a fool of myself. I want to say that these are um, FTDI modules, but I'm, I don't think they are. Rather than guess, muck around, I'll find the listings. What have we got here? Okay, getting this out is going to be a trick. Oh, okay. You know what, I'm not going to get that yet. This is a boost converter, DC DC step up boost module. You'll get a better look in the listing anyway, which I will show in a second. Uh, what else do we, oh, we recently got, again, because of the storm, I, um, I bought this little 
transistor for my son to use if we get in the same boat again. And that just takes, I think from memory, a couple of, yeah, two triple A's. And I think that might be it for the day. Yep, that's it for now. So, as always, um, please help me out. Please like and subscribe. And look, leave a comment. That really helps. Doesn't matter whether it's positive or negative. If you like what you see, let me know. If you don't like what you see, let me know. If you want to know more about something here, please let me know. Um, I also have affiliate links now for AliExpress and Timu. As I said before, Timu is now my favourite supplier. Um, I'll wait till the video to go into that. Um, oh, that's it for the day. The camera I'm filming on is an eMeet C960 webcam. And we'll see how it comes out in editing. Thank you. I hope to see you again real soon.